Hello and welcome once again to another week for your league of La Liga predictions. Sorry about that, almost a French league on. Uh, but today we'll be looking at uh, La Liga predictions. And I hope that you had a wonderful week last week. So let's jump right into it. Uh, now we're going to start off with Celta de Vigo versus Cardiz. Celta de Vigo being the home team here. I'm expecting Celta de Vigo to cheek here of business. So I'll be picking Celta de Vigo to win this match. So Celta de Vigo to win. And in terms, I'm going to pick up a double chance. In terms of a double chance, I'm going to refer, I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to say Celta Vigo or Cadiz to win. And both teams to score. Alright, and my predicted score line for this game is I have Celta de Vigo winning this game 2 0. Alright, if you want to go on the handicap system, if you don't want to bet a correct score, I'd suggest you go ahead and bet for Celta de Vigo to win by a goal, and you're getting $3 for doing that. So, that again, my predictions for the Celta de Vigo game versus Cadiz is uh, Celta de Vigo to win in terms of a double chance. I would say Celta de Vigo or Cadiz to win and both teams to score. Uh, predicted score line, I'm expecting uh, Celta de Vigo to win by two goals to nil. And if you don't want to bet a card score, you can always go on the handicap system and bet for Celta de Vigo to win by a goal. Let's move right along into our next game, which is, uh, let's see, uh, Mallorca versus Girona. Alright. Let's go straight into that. Mallorca versus Girona. Uh, Mallorca being at home. Mallorca had a win. A wonderful result away. Uh, uh, a week or two ago. And so therefore I'm expecting that things to continue. But for this game I'm going to call this game a draw. I think Mallorca and, and, and Girona they are going to end in a draw. Uh, they both came up and uh, they have a good understanding of each other I think. And so I think this one is going to be turned into a draw. I uh, draw and I'm expecting both teams to score in terms of a double chance. I would say uh, Mallorca or Girona to win and both teams to score. Uh, my predicted score line for this game, I am seeing 1-1. One, one. Alright, so these are my predictions for the Mallorca versus Girona game. I'm expecting this game to end in a draw. I'm expecting both teams to score. And in terms of a double chance, I would say Mallorca or Girona to win and both teams to score. My predicted score line for this game is one goal apiece, one for Girona, one for Mallorca, Mallorca being at home. Here. Uh, our next game is Real Madrid versus Real Betis. Real Madrid being at home. I'm expecting them to, do, to go ahead and win here. So I'd have Real Madrid to win. And Real Madrid to win. They might be going to a little bit of a challenge, but I still expect them to win. I have Real Madrid to win and I'm going to say both teams are going to score. And in terms of a double chance, I would go and say Real Madrid or Real Betis to win and both teams to score. My predicted score line for this game is Real Madrid to win this one 2 1. Alright, in terms of a handicap system, you can go ahead and bet for Real Madrid to win by a goal. Alright, if you don't want to bet the correct score, so let me just pull this up here and show you. Alright, Real Madrid to win by two goals. Lovely odds there, $2.05. So recapping my predictions for the Real Madrid versus Real Betis game, I'm expecting Real Madrid to win, expecting both teams to score. In terms of a double chance, I would say Real Madrid or Real Betis to win and both teams to score. Predicted score line is for Real Madrid to win by is Real Madrid to win 2-1. And in terms of a handicap system, I would say Real Madrid would win by a goal. Alright. So we're moving right along into our next game, which is uh, let's see, uh Real Sociedad versus Atletico de Madrid. Alright. So for this particular game, uh, I think the Madrid they had a few hiccups so far, uh, but I'm expecting to pull themselves together and start doing much better. Real Sociedad did really well at home last season. They, they, they did really, really well. That's uh, that's that's one of the main reasons why they were up in the top five for the most part, most of the season, especially the first part of the season last season. Uh, because that's because they were dominant at home, and uh, so therefore now uh, for this game. I'm going to go here and I'm going to see I'm going to think I'm going to pick this game to end in a draw. Let me see this game is going to end in a one all draw, so I'm expecting both teams to score. Alright. And in terms of a double chance, I would go and say Real Sociedad at Atletico Madrid to win and both teams to score. That's what I'll say. In terms of my predicted score line, I have this one ending one one. Alright, so recapping my predictions for the Real Sociedad versus Atletico Madrid game. I have this game ending in a draw. I'm expecting both teams to score in terms of a double chance. I would say 
Real Sociedad or Athletic Madrid to win and both teams to score. My predicted scoreline is one off. Okay. Let's move along to our next game. Sevilla versus Barcelona and the, all these games will be playing on Saturday. And so this game is at Sevilla's home. And so Sevilla, the, the after sheet is that in a sense that they, they, they had an expect, unexpected beating for me. I think that they lost the game about, I think, last week. Uh, that I didn't expect them to lose. Uh, it was a bit surprising, but that's how the La Liga is some of the times. Sometimes you get goals and some of the times you don't get goals and the teams that you expect to win just don't win and some of the times they do end up drawing like uh, Atletico Madrid, you uh, know? Uh, so my predictions for this uh, Sevilla vs FC Barcelona game is that I am have Barcelona winning this one here I have Barcelona winning this one by the odd goal in 3 So I have Barcelona winning 2-1, I expect both teams to score and I would select here in terms of double chance as a severe Barcelona to win and both teams to score. My predicted score line for this one is 2 1 in favor of Barcelona. If you want to go on the handicap system, you can go ahead and bet for Barcelona to win by a goal, which is $3.10. That's lovely. And recapping my predictions for the Sevilla versus Barcelona game, I have this game ending. I have this one. Let me start from that. My predictions are uh, both teams to score, so, and I um, have a double chance here. So we are Barcelona to win, and both teams score. My predicted score line is 2 1 in favor of Barcelona. If you want to go on the handicap system, you can go ahead and bet for Barcelona with a goal, which is $3.10. All right. So moving right along to our next game, which is. Uh, Osasuna vs. Flyer Vallecano Alright Osasuna vs. Flyer Vallecano Osasuna being at home Osasuna usually played well at home Usually living home turf well It's not easy to beat them at home uh, As you see, uh, I think they were the ones who beat uh, Sevilla Yeah, remember certain factors they, they, they took a big scalp earlier this season at home Playing at home, that is And so therefore my predictions for this game Osasuna vs. Flyer Vallecano is that I'm expecting that uh, Osasuna to come out on top here. I think they'll win by the. I think they'll squeeze through. There's. I don't think they're going to have a lot of goals here. I'm expecting them to win here. I Rio Vallecano. They 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 have been scoring, and so therefore I I don't think this is going to go with three goals to be honest. Two point five goals. I don't think so. So I have also Osasuna to win. And in terms of both teams scoring, I am a bit doubtful about that. Don't think both teams will score, so I'll skip that. Then we'll have Osasuna to win. My predicted score line is Osasuna to win 2 0. And in terms of a double chance, I will just go out there in case both teams score. I'll say Osasuna are ever can't win on both teams to score. In terms of uh, handicap system, you could go ahead and and select for Osasuna to win by a goal. Alright, uh, and as usual how the handicap system works, if you select Osasuna to win by a goal, that means that Osasuna starts the game a goal behind. That therefore would mean that Rival Arcana will start the game leading 1-0. So that means that Osasuna would have to win this game 2-0 in order to win by a goal. Uh, because if they win this game 2-1, then that means it will end in a draw on the handicap system. Right? So that means they have to win by two goals to nil, right? So uh, also soon to win by a goal. And also, if you're interested, you can go for a prior to win by a goal as well. You never know when it comes down to some of these matches in La Liga. But these are my predictions for this game. Also soon to win. Uh, predicted scoreline, also soon to win 2-0. Uh, in terms of a double chance, I would go with Osasuna or Ever Corner to win on both teams to score. On the handicap system, I have Osasuna to win by a goal. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope that you continue to watch these videos and hope that you continue to subscribe and share this video with your friends. We're going to move right into our next game, which is Atletico Bilbao versus Espanyol. And uh, Atletico Bilbao being at home, I'm expecting them to do well and handle themselves well at home. But uh, as it relates to this game, I'm going to take this one as a draw. I think this game would end in a draw. I 
they can build but they're, they're in good form and they're expected to do good things but i think this one is going to end in a draw both teams score yes and in terms of a double chance, I would go with Atletico Bilbao uh, Espanol to win and both teams not to score because that's the obvious. Well, that's not the obvious, but in terms of a double chance, I'd, air, I'd put this on another betting slip. Alright, uh, my predicted scoreline for this game is uh, I have here one all. Alright, so on the handicap system, I won't be giving anything on the handicap system for this game. Recapping my predictions for the Atletico Bilbao versus Espanol game. I'm expecting this one to end in a draw. I think Espanol do have it in them to find a goal at Atletico Bilbao and hold them to a draw. And I expect both teams to score. Not expecting a lot of goals. I think two, three the most. Uh, in terms of a double chance, I'd say Atletico Bilbao or Espanol to win and both teams not to score. My predicted scoreline for this game is one goal apiece. One, or one for Atletico Bilbao, one for Espanol. Let's move right along into our next game, which is uh, Villarreal versus Elche. And Villarreal versus Elche. Hey, Villarreal, I'm expecting them to do wonderful things this year in La Liga. Uh, they, they had a really good preseason and they have just started the season well. And I expect them to continue. So here I expect them to win, play at home. And in terms of uh, scoreline, I would say I'm going to have Villarreal winning two goals by two goals to nil. And in terms of the handicap system, I'll go with Villarreal to win by a goal. Alright. Villarreal to win by a goal on the handicap system. So my predictions for... Oh, in terms of a double chance, I would go and I'd say... Uh, let me see here. I'd say Villarreal or Elche to win. And both teams not to score. That's what I'd bet on the handicap system. No, not, not the handicap system. For the double chance. I'm going to pick that up now. Alright then. So Villarreal or Elche to win and both teams not to score. So my predictions for the Villarreal vs LG game, I'm expecting Villarreal to win. My predicted scoreline is 2 in favor of Villarreal. On the handicap system, I'd go with Villarreal to win by a goal. Uh, in terms of double chance, I'd say Villarreal or LG to win and both teams not to score. Alright, so we're going to move right along to our next game. Which is uh, Valencia vs Etafe. Valencia vs Etafe, Valencia playing at home. Based on their head-to-heads, the last five games we've had two draws and one win for Valencia and two wins for Hetafe. Surprisingly, you'd say, yeah. <laughs> so, so that's that's where they are. Uh, so there are some other things here. Let me just show you some other things here. We have the head-to-head -head section. We have the standing section. All right. So if you want to know where these two teams are in La Liga and the amount of points, for example. Uh, let us see, Valencia is in 14th and 3 points, and uh, Hetafe is in 18th and 1 point. Alright then, so if you want to know the lineups, lineups are not quite ready as yet, this, this would be from previous games, that's not important, uh, so you can just check the head to head and uh, let's just go right into a prediction for this game, Valencia versus Hetafe. I'm expecting both teams here to do well, and um, and so therefore this one this one is going to be a close affair i believe i don't think it's going to be straight for i don't think valencia is going to just come out and win this game i think it's going to be close and as a result i would say i'm expecting both teams to score as to who would win i'm going to go with a double chance and i'm going to say valencia are hetafe to win and both teams to score all right in terms of a predicted score line I'm going to go with Valencia to win here 2 1. And let me see here now. So, my predictions for this game, and uh, this, uh, this is my summary of the predictions for this game, is that I'm expecting both teams to score. In terms of a double chance, I would say Valencia or Hetafe to win and both teams to score. And my predicted scoreline for this game, I'm expecting Valencia to win this one 2 1. But I do believe that it's not going to be as straight. It's not going to be very straightforward. They're not going to just come out and win. They're going to have to work for it. And if they don't stand up and stand up very well and play very well, then hit a could squeeze them. You never know. Uh, moving right along into our next game, which is our final game for this game week. And it's on Monday, next Monday that is. Uh, I think that's what, September 5th, remember serves me correctly. Yes, but moving right along, uh, where it's Real Valladolid versus Almeria. Almeria just came up from 
the second division and so they had a good start against Real Madrid but well good start as in they took the lead against Real Madrid but they lost that game I think 3-1 or 4-1 if my message is correctly and <clears throat> but this game now uh, I'm expecting them to, to do well again and so as a result I'm going to see here both teams score and I would say I'm going to do a double chance and I'm going to say both teams score and either to win yeah this is what this is saying so Real Valladolid did to win or Almeria to win and both teams to score in terms of predicted score line I would say who won victory for Real Valladolid I'm going to go with the home team as this game it could go either way but I'm going to go with the home team and in terms of the handicap system I would see Real Valladolid did to win by a goal alright so my predictions for the Real Valladolid game Ver Real Valladolid versus Almeria I have both teams scoring uh, in terms of a double chance I'd say Real Valladolid or Almeria to win and both teams to score yeah my predicted score line is 2-1 in favor of Real Valladolid otherwise uh, Almeria could maybe surprise them or this game put in a draw uh, in terms of the handicap system I'd bet for Real Valladolid to win by a goal alright so these are my predictions for this game week for La Liga and I wish you all the best as I said whenever you're betting I suggest you pick up your bets from different leagues or different divisions rather than pick up all your bets from one league you can't do it that way but if you, I suggest you mix and match your bets some of the, you have some of the, 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 the bets I suggest you bet results some of your bet goals some of your bet uh, you, have, you, you do a double chance yes just to give yourself more options more options more opportunities to win more option more 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 space for success more room for success in a sense yeah based on my experience that what have that's what i have learned over the years when you mix and match the bets it's better for you yeah and as i say anywhere from three to five games per slip that's good all right if you have a big bank roll then you can even bet on less games less outcomes all right but the less outcomes you bet on it's the easier for you to win but if you don't have a big bank roll it doesn't make much money but financially it's not going to work out in the short to mid term all right but um bet smart and i wish you all the luck and congratulations on those for those who continue to win and i to say watch these videos subscribe and share and like them and thank you for your support